conversation is directly and immediately uh, relevant to the concentric communities we live in, to Cleveland, to Ohio, to the United States, and of course to the world. And I can't help but remark that President Obama is in Shaker Heights today and it just sort of brings all of this home uh, to us, I think. <clears throat> but to me, there's another element uh, to this gathering that's important, and it's that our presence here speaks to the role of art museums in our society and to the role of the Cleveland Museum of Art in Cleveland. Back in June, Intelligence Squared, which is a debating society based in New York, uh, set forth a proposition that, quote, museums are bad at telling us why art matters, unquote. Well, I think our presence here today helps answer that charge, at least uh, for today. The title of our conversation is The Art of Reinvention, China, Ohio, and the New Global Economy. Our galleries here are home to an ancient story of invention, creativity, reinvention, a story that stretches back beyond 5,000 years. Today we're here to discuss a more recent chapter in that story, in our new global economy, new partnerships between China and the United States, between China and Northeast Ohio, are rising to greater and greater prominence in all our lives. These partnerships are pushing us to seek a better understanding of China and Chinese culture. They are pushing us into new and challenging conversations that cry out for a shared language, for a context. And that context is hanging in our galleries today in this exhibition. In 1930, the Cleveland Museum of Art hosted one of the most significant exhibitions of Chinese art of that epoch. The Burlington Magazine called the exhibition, together with one in Detroit, quote, an impressive warning to the cities of the Atlantic coast that they must keep pace with the work that is being done at the great inland museums." Unquote. When I read that today, I think two things. First of all, I don't know how many people who wrote for the Burlington Magazine had ever come to Cleveland, because when the snow and the wind come off the lake, we don't feel very inland. But, um, but of course, most seriously, that um, it attested this amazing vision of our predecessors to really focus, as early as 1930 and before, uh, to commit to the serious collection and study of Chinese art. And I nearly, merely, near, merely need to mention uh, great visionary director Sherman Lee's name to, to really bring up, uh, home the continuity of that uh, devotion in this collection, to believe that the collection of Chinese art could be relevant and would be relevant to Clevelanders. And so, yes, the Cleveland Museum of Art has always been a leader in bringing Chinese art to the United States. When our museum began its long period of renovations, we assumed um, new roles, and one of those roles was to become a leader in bringing uh, Western art to China. And we sent an exhibit of uh, impressionist and modern masterpieces uh, to, to the Nanjing Museum, Monet to Dali, a journey around the world. And you could say that we took some of our talents uh, to China. More importantly, it cemented or, or, a reciprocal relationship with the Nanjing Museum. Cleveland Museum of Art that has continued in the years since and will continue into the future, I can assure you. And now the Nanjing Museum has brought uh, some of their superstars to us uh, through this great talent, Fu Baoshi. Fu Baoshi's work is a testament to the fact that art happens in the presence of life. Our gathering here today is a testament to the fact that life happens in the presence of art. And because life happens in the presence of art, a museum, in order to do justice to the art inside it, must do justice to the life that surrounds it, to its city, to its economy, to its culture, and to the people that move through it. Since the beginning of my tenure as director, I have talked about a vision for the museum, not as an ivory tower, but as a bridge. A bridge that can sometimes reach a lot farther than our utopia here in University Circle, that can reach to downtown, to the west side, uh, to Akron, reach further and further. Um, and today there's a strategic relationship also developing between Cleveland and the state of Ohio and the nation of China, and art, I think, is a manifestation of that, clearly. And when that happens, exciting conversations become possible, and one of them begins now. <laughs> 